allow me to take you through this um, function in Microsoft Access. Therefore, the first thing we start by creating a database. We call that database DSAM. Then we open our database. Then once we, our database is opened, we shall create a table with three fields. Uh, the first field will be admission number. The first go to create, then table design. Then we can have something like admission number, or we can just use product, product, product ID. A product ID will be auto number. We put this one as primary key. Then we go to product, product, product name. Then the price or quantity, quantity, quantity. Therefore, this is a number. Then this is auto number. This is text. Therefore, this is how our table looks like. We can save our table as products. Products. Now, after having this table of ours, we want to insert some data. Therefore, I insert, insert some data downwards. For I shall have A, B, C. Or we can just use real product T, coffee, cocoa, chocolate, butter, chocolate, tea, butter, cocoa, tea. Therefore, then we can have our um, quantity 5, 6, 12, 13, 7, 9, 6, 7, 10, 9. Then this one should be 12. Therefore, this is how our table looks like. And uh, we want now to use the D sum. Therefore, let's uh, see what, how we can use the DSUM function. Uh, that one will allow us to calculate. Like now, Coco, it will add the, it will add 10, uh, 12 official get 22. For butter, it will add 7 plus 7, 14. T, uh, 30. Therefore, let's create a table. Uh, that is a form. Uh, we want to create a form. Therefore, we shall create our text boxes. We can draw a text box here. Now this one, we can call this one as uh, this is our T. This is our T. Then we draw another one. Now this, we draw another one. Now this is our coffee. That is our coffee. Then now uh, we draw another one. That is our cocoa. Then we can draw another one. Now that is our chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, then then after doing so we can highlight this uh, format and uh, give it a better look we can also change this one to then you highlight, you make it bold. A 
that way. Now this is what we have so far. Uh, the next thing, after doing so, you can save this one as product, product form. Now after uh, doing that, we need to uh, apply the DSUM so that we can calculate the products we need to see the total. Therefore, you just type equals D sum. You type equals to D sum. Then uh, the next thing you put quotation marks. You, you get to get this field, uh, the field here. Quantity, quantity. Therefore, quantity. That is the field. Then uh, the table name. The table name is products. Our table name is products. Then what else do we need? Uh, from here, we need product name. If we go and type, we, we go and type um, in there product name equals you put single quote t you cross the single quote then you can cross the parentheses you can see the system identified that you have not created a product therefore this is the formula uh, for that one then you can also increase the size of this one that way then now there is no need of uh, retyping the formula again. Just copy the formula and change the product because they are actually from the, the, the single table, they are from the same table. Therefore, basically, you just copy now this formula. The way it is control C, then control V. The next one is coffee. Then we paste the, the other one. The next one is cocoa. Cocoa. Then the next one is chocolate. Cho chocolate. Now what we expect, we expect uh, that the system, if it, we are talking about T, uh, if you are talking about T, this the system uh, uh, what will happen the system if you're talking about t the system will come and uh, take this 9 plus 6 plus uh, 10 that is 15 25 therefore you expect to get 25 if you are talking about um, cocoa the system will take 12 plus 10 22 that's what we expect uh, we expect a situation whereby if it is coffee, then it will be 5, uh, actually 5. If it is something like tea, we expect 10, 16, 16 plus 9, 25. If it's something like butter, we expect 7 plus 7, 14. Therefore, let's go to our form and uh, see whether that one will actually work. Therefore, this is how the, the DSUM uh, looks like. That is the DSUM function. It looks like this, uh, whereby it is DSUM quantity. Uh, this is the field. Uh, this is the field that you, are, you, you want to be summed up. Then this is the this is the table name where you are getting data. Then we have the field name and then the data inside that field name T. So that's how D, D sum looks like. Right? Therefore, it will count. It will actually sum up. Therefore, when we run, uh, you can see now what has happened that uh, D sum has really worked. Uh, these are the expected answers. T, it has really added T, coffee, it has uh, added coffee, etc, uh, etc. Et 
So that's how DSAM function works, that is in Microsoft Access. Thank you very much for watching. Always remember to subscribe and like my videos so that you can receive uh, such videos in future. Thank you very much.